Welcome to the Literary Digest. Please subscribe to the channel or give a like and comment on this video if you find it helpful to help us reach more people. Remember when you've got mail was exciting? Now, your inbox and phone are most likely like overzealous salespeople, constantly flooding you with words and pings that turn your brain into a jumbled warehouse of information overload. That's what living in the age of instant communication is like. People compulsively check phones, scroll feeds, and skim content in an addictive pursuit of dopamine hits. This exacerbates their inability to focus or retain information. Yet despite less available attention and the changing landscape, traditional forms of communication haven't evolved. Professional communications continue pumping out verbose emails, articles, and books as if it were still 1980. The result is billions of wasted words. Smart brevity is the solution a communication style adapted to how modern minds actually consume content in the age of fractured attention. This summary shows you how brevity cuts through the noise to deliver impactful ideas and recognition, helping you communicate what matters while freeing your mind from word overload. Chapter 1. What Smart Brevity Is Think back to a time when you heard a story that meandered so far from the point, you forgot what it was about. This is the pitfall of polluting good ideas with needless verbosity. It's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Unfortunately, almost everyone is guilty of this. People, most especially journalists, measure their self-worth by word counts, when the truth is, readers don't often read the entire thing, only a few paragraphs. This is why it's essential to make news focused on your readers' needs rather than your ego. Enter smart brevity. This approach to communication is about framing thoughts concisely. It's a system that allows you to say more with less, combining smart ideas with brevity. The power of smart brevity lies in its ability to transform your writing from unnoticed to vital and memorable. Whether you're a student, a salesperson, a CEO, or anyone in between, this method unveils the secrets to breaking through the noise. It makes communication more organized and teaches you that brevity builds clarity and impact in a world where time is of the essence. But, here's the catch, brevity doesn't mean omitting important facts or oversimplifying. Yes, you have to be short, but don't be shallow. Sure, enjoyable lengthy prose still has its place, but for communicating vital info today, radically shorter, crisper delivery is needed to have people understand and remember. You need to convey maximum value in minimum time. Imagine specifically who you're speaking to, tailor your message tightly to them, and ask yourself what the one key thing you want them to remember is. State it clearly, directly, and plainly. Then stop talking. As PR executive Lisa Ross wisely puts it, just say what you mean, sincerely and short. Authentic communication that's brief and to the point makes people want to listen and remember, so stay focused on your audience and objective and don't hide behind extra words. Putting smart brevity into practice can be a game changer. It boosts efficiency, makes you a clearer communicator, and helps you stand out on social media by elevating only the most critical points. The best result? Crisper expression of an alignment around what matters most. There are four key elements to smart brevity that you need to apply to make every word count. And you'll find out what they are in the following sections. Chapter 2, Element Number 1, The T's. Picture this, you're at a party, and someone starts a story with so, I was filing my taxes. Snooze fest, right? Openings in writing are like the first line of a good party anecdote they need to grab attention, or you'll lose your audience to the snack table. Even the best content can't save a piece with a boring opening. So, how do you craft one that grips your audience from the get-go? Let's dive into the art of the tease, the first element of smart brevity. This isn't just about crafting a headline or a subject line, it's the first line of anything you write, from emails to essays. The goal? To immediately snatch the reader's attention. Remember, people often decide to read further based only on the headline. 
People's brains are quick to make snap judgments, swiftly deciding whether to stick with a piece or move on. A magnetic opening doesn't just catch attention, it earns you precious time and focus from your audience. But the trick doesn't end there. What follows must be equally clear and concise to maintain that interest. So here are some pro tips, begin by shedding those habits that dull reader engagement. Overly wordy headlines? Cut them down to six words max for mobile-friendly viewing. Trying too hard to be funny or cryptic? That just leaves readers more puzzled than intrigued. And let's not even get started on complex vocabulary and jargon simplicity reigns supreme in openings. Once you've ditched these pitfalls, embrace tactics that truly captivate. Summarize your core message in 10 words or less, distilling your message to its most compelling essence. Make it provocative but accurate, something that stirs curiosity and promises something new or unexpected. Additionally, favor short, punchy words, especially those with a single syllable. Opt for bold, active verbs over fluffy adjectives and adverbs that only bog down your writing. Finally, the ultimate test, read your opening aloud. Does it spark your interest? If it doesn't excite you, it won't excite your readers. The best openings are those that capture attention in the first few seconds, preventing minds from wandering. Follow these strategies, and you'll master the art of crafting irresistible headlines and openings in no time. Chapter 3, Element Number 2, The Lead If the first sentence of an article were a person, you'd want it to be that charismatic friend who can pull everyone toward them and make you go, yes, I want to hang out with you. That's how powerful the lead, the second element of smart brevity, is. The lead is your opening sentence, a carefully constructed hook that draws your reader into the heart of your narrative. Its goal is to deliver something unexpected or valuable in a concise, punchy manner that helps readers quickly grasp what your content is about. This lead should be one strong, succinct sentence written in as few words as possible. Any extra fluff only distracts and confuses. A useful tip to write your lead is to imagine you're in an elevator with a friend and only have a few seconds to share something impactful. What do you want them to know as they head out the door? That should be your lead. To perfect writing your lead, you need to focus on distilling your message into one potent, informative sentence. Forget elaborate language or attempts at humor your aim is to be clear, direct, and useful. Consider each word carefully. Does it add value? Does it make your point clearer? If a reader only absorbs one sentence from your work, it should be this one. And remember, don't just repeat what's already in your tease. The rest of your content should then orbit around the central first sentence, supporting and expanding it. This approach not only enhances readability but also ensures your message resonates with the reader. By mastering the art of the lead, you transform your writing into a powerful tool of engagement. It's not just about what you say, but how you say it, and it all starts with that first, captivating sentence. Chapter 4, Element Number 3, The Context So you've just crafted an intriguing opening for your piece, skillfully drawing your reader in with a compelling tease and an informative lead. But what comes next? This is where the art of providing context takes center stage. You need to avoid the assumption that your reader is already in the know. They're actually looking for more than just facts, they want to understand the why behind them. That's why you need to spell out the importance of the information in a brisk, straightforward way. A couple of clear sentences explaining the relevance can prevent confusion and keep them engaged. But the challenge lies in presenting this context without overwhelming your audience. How? By using a secret weapon called axioms. Think of these as signposts guiding your readers through the landscape of your content, ensuring they grasp the importance of what they're reading even if they're just skimming which, in all honesty, everyone does. Consider using bolded headings to introduce the context, like why it matters, what's happening, the big picture, the backstory, 
or between the lines. Then, follow your chosen axiom with a punchy explanation of your lead's importance. This isn't the time for flowery language or beating around the bush. Go for strong, decisive wording that underscores change, context, and relevance. Why does this matter to your reader? What change does it signal in their world? These are the questions your context should answer without wishy-washy phrasing. After writing your axiom and context, lean into the power of the spoken word. Reading your T's, opening sentence, axiom, and context aloud is a fantastic way to test their effectiveness. Does it sound clear? Does it flow? If your spoken words can hold your attention, chances are, they'll captivate your readers too. Remember, in the world of writing, clarity is king, and your axioms are the crown jewels that make your content shine. Chapter 5, Element Number 4 Go deeper. Admit it, you've skimmed over articles faster than a kid dodging broccoli. It's a common habit that your readers do too, but there's a crafty technique you can use to keep them hooked just a bit longer. That's the fourth element of smart brevity, the go deeper section. This is the last part of your piece and the one that balances brevity with substance. The idea is to present the context up front and then invite the reader to explore further if they wish. It's like offering a gateway to a deeper understanding, but only for those who choose to walk through it. By providing the option to delve deeper, you empower your audience. They can either quickly grasp the essence or dive into the details. As your final paragraph, type the axiom go deeper in bold, of course. Then, link to the source material, so interested readers can explore further. But what if you need to present more content directly? Here's where strategic formatting comes into play. Use bullet points to highlight key facts or ideas. They stand out, making it easier for the reader to digest important information. Bullets break the monotony of dense paragraphs, offering a visual break that keeps the reader's attention. Don't shy away from using bold text to emphasize crucial phrases, either. In a sea of words, bold text acts like a lighthouse, guiding readers to the most significant points. And don't forget that brevity is the soul of wit. Keep paragraphs short, ideally two to three sentences then change to a different format like a bold phrase, chart, or bullets. This prevents your piece from turning into an intimidating block of text. Ultimately, the goal is to communicate effectively while respecting the reader's curiosity and providing them with nuance if they so desire. Chapter 6. Applying Smart Brevity at Work Are your emails, speeches, meetings, and other work-related communication often greeted with the enthusiasm of a dentist appointment? Then, it's time to switch to smart brevity. Mastering this art can elevate your career and change how you're perceived at work. After all, in a world where managers are drowning in unread messages and rambling reports, they're starting to value employees who can cut through the noise with clear, concise information. So let's explore the applications of smart brevity across various aspects of your work life. Take emails, for instance. Crafting them with smart brevity means starting with a compelling subject line, leading with the key questions or news in the first sentence, and supporting them with succinct, bullet-pointed, and bolded data. Throw in some clear visuals to strengthen the critical ideas, too. When it comes to newsletters, think of them as the beacon that aligns your team and sets the tone for the week ahead. The trick? Choose a catchy, brief name. Leave with top news in a visually appealing format, including 5 to 10 key updates, each under 200 words, and ensure the total doesn't exceed 1,000 words. Use numbered items for clarity, intersperse with relevant images and graphs, and conclude with a lighthearted note. Meetings, often seen as time drains, can be transformed into power-packed strategy sessions with smart brevity too. To do so, set a clear agenda and objective beforehand. Begin on time, clarify the purpose up front, keep discussions focused, and engage all participants. 
Conclude with a summary and define next steps within a concise 20-minute time frame. Then, assign follow-up responsibilities to enhance performance. You can also elevate presentations using smart brevity. Lead with a compelling headline encapsulating the core idea, followed by three to five key points in a logical order. Use images and minimal text for clarity and memorability. Keep slides simple, with one main message each, limiting to five to six slides. Conclude with a clear call to action or goal. Believe it or not, smart brevity can be applied to speeches as well. Focus on a singular, memorable point. Engage the audience with a captivating anecdote, then articulate your central message and its relevance. Back it up with examples and data, and conclude by reinforcing the key idea. Make sure to keep your language simple and direct, avoiding lengthy tangents. Even in the realm of social media, smart brevity reigns supreme. Each post is an opportunity to capture attention in an ocean of content. Create captivating posts by focusing on a single, strong idea. Then, adapt to each platform X formerly Twitter for news, Instagram for visuals, and Facebook for emotion. Use clear language and impactful images for engagement. Finally, consider the power of visuals. In a world dominated by images, a well-crafted visual speaks volumes. The key lies in simplicity and perspective, creating a narrative that resonates at a glance. In summary, smart brevity isn't just a communication technique, it's a career enhancer. It's about making every word count, whether in an email, a meeting, or a social media post. Final summary, it's important to ensure your message isn't just heard but also remembered and acted upon. This indispensable communication strategy revolves around four key elements, a catchy tease, a clear lead, just enough context, and an invitation to dive deeper. It's like a magic wand for your emails, presentations, social media posts, speeches, and so on, transforming them into concise, impactful masterpieces. So next time you're about to write something, channel the power of smart brevity. Say more with less and your audience will listen. If brevity is the soul of wit, smart brevity is the key to communication that sticks. Now go captivate your readers. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to the Literary Digest for more videos like this one. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you found most helpful. Until next time, keep striving for success.